Now, as you may have seen, in the last hour and a half, the government has announced a further loosening of the coronavirus restrictions. Now, swimming pools, gyms, beauticians and spas are going to be allowed to reopen over the next few weeks. But many in the industry feel that they have been forgotten by the government. Phil McCann reports from Cheshire. At Carden Park Hotel near Chester, they spent £10 million on this new spa. It opened in January, but they haven't been able to use it at all since March. I found it incredibly frustrating that hairdressers have been able to open, um, but beauty and spas haven't been. Spas are renowned for being clean, sterile. It's really frustrating and sad to see something that there's been so much put into this building now sitting here with nobody in the gardens. From Monday, spas will be allowed to reopen, along with beauticians and tanning salons. Indoor gyms, pools and sports facilities can open in a fortnight. But it'll all come with lots of restrictions and questions. Do you feel like you, your industry, has been forgotten by the government? Very much so. I think they quite often don't recognise um, spa and wellness in this industry. The rooms here reopened on Monday after restrictions on hotels and B&Bs were eased at the weekend. But now cleaning involves spraying disinfectant mist everywhere. I'm cleaning in the, in the bed for, I'm cleaning in the table, lamp, and the phone, and the cushions, everything, yeah. So this hotel reopened on Monday, but things are still far from back to normal. And it's lots of little things, like on this table, they can't have salt and pepper or flowers, anything that more than one person might touch. Now, the Chancellor cut VAT to try to help places like this, but the future is still looking very uncertain. We we'll need everything released. We need to be able to do weddings for 100 people. We we'll need to be able to do conferences, etc. Without that market, it, you know, we are limping along at the moment. And 120 miles north, Chris and Ali have been able to reopen their B&B in Ambleside. They showed Northwest tonight round when they closed at the beginning of lockdown. But now? It's actually gone quite well. We opened up with a very small capacity, but we've been quite surprised how quickly we've managed to get into the routines of working in the new world of COVID-19. Spas, beauty salons and gyms can now join hotels, pubs and bars in reopening. But getting back to normal could be a long way off. Phil McCann, BBC Northwest tonight, South Cheshire.